Skilled migration visas in Australia can vary depending on the specific visa subclass you are applying for. However, I can provide you with a general overview of the common documentation that is typically required for skilled migration visas such as the subclass 189 skilled independent, subclass 190 skilled nominated, and subclass 491 skilled work regional. Please note that this information is based on my last knowledge update in January 2022 and requirements may have changed. It's crucial to refer to the official website of the Australian Department of Home Affairs or consult with a registered migration agent for the most up-to-date information. Here are some common documents required for skilled migration visas, skills assessment, a positive skills assessment from the relevant. Assessing authority for your nominated occupation is usually a prerequisite. The assessing authority will specify the documents required for the assessment. English language proficiency, evidence if English language proficiency is typically required. This can be demonstrated through test results from recognized English language tests such as IELTS, TOEFL, or PDE Academic, expression of interest DOE, submission of an expression of interest through the skill select system is often the first step. You may need to provide details about your skills, work experience, and other relevant information. Invitation to apply ITA If you receive an invitation to apply for the visa, you will need to submit the required documents within a specified time frame. The ITA will specify the documents you need to provide. Identity and civil documents, copies off your passport, birth certificate, marriage certificate if applicable, and other civil documents to verify your identity and family relationships. Educational qualifications, certified copies of your academic transcripts, diplomas, and certificates. Employment the story, detailed information about your work experience including employment references, job duties, and duration of employment, health and character record. You will need to undergo a health examination by an approved panel physician and obtain police clearances to meet health and character requirements. Proof offenances, evidence that you have sufficient funds to support yourself and any accompanying family members during the initial stages of your stay in Australia. These are general guidelines, and the specific requirements may vary based on the visa subclass and individual circumstances. It's highly recommended to check the latest and detailed requirements on the official website or consult with a registered migration agent for personalized advice. Feel free to like, comment, share because this channel is not just about me, it's about all of us sharing. Hit that subscribe button and join our global travel community. We're here to turn your wanderlust into reality. Email netravelconsulity at gmail.com.